Okay, so I have it zoomed in. I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see all of this and see it is sensitive now because I've kind of gotten it in, I've gotten in there, but I have to get in there because I have to get this cleaned out. I'm not one that's gonna leave this go. I mean, you can see the pus coming out of it. And I understand that it's very sensitive for her, but I'm gonna go easy. I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time and get this junk out of here because it's more uncomfortable for her to be like this than it is for me to be cleaning it out. So, as you can see, this is a bunch of junk coming out of here. And I just go underneath it and gently squeeze. I'm not sure what's wrong with her brother. Stop, lay down, honey. So, there was some cottage cheesy stuff coming out of there. This is the scab that's coming off right here. And right here is where you can see where the fresh skin is. I'm sorry, babe. We gotta get that out of there. And most of it's already leaked out. There's a little bit of white stuff there that I think is probably um, the last of it. And I mean, in my experience, these things do tend to refill up sometimes, but I've also had them, see that was the, that's the last of it. But in my experience, a lot of times, once you get that core out and you're just seeing blood, as you see here, um, it's, it's done. And, and I've had a lot of times it won't come back, but and I'm feeling underneath there and I'm just feeling a little thickening of skin. I'm not a vet, y'all, but I just can't let this go. And <laughs> these people, yes, they will take her to the vet if I tell them to, but I kind of just feel like I'm right here and I'm not going to groom her like this. I'd rather just clean it off and, and do what needs to be done. So... This is better for her than to just leave it go. It's also Friday right now. And so I think it's gonna be better for her for me to get this all off of here. So what I'll do is I'll shave up around here where all this scabby dried blood is. I'll clean that all up. I'll shave around here, make sure it's really clean. I'll clean it, you know, with antiseptic and all that jazz. And then I'll just advise them to leave this open, keep an eye on it. And if something would happen to fill up again, they're going to need to take her in. Um, a lot of vets will put them on antibiotics. I don't necessarily feel like that's necessary, but I'm, again, not a vet. So um, I'll just advise them to keep an eye on it. I've known these people a really long time, so they trust my opinion, which is great. And that's really what you want when you're a groomer, and especially a mobile groomer, because you you run into this kind of thing all the time and these people are not home so I just have to do what I have to do and again I'm not gonna leave her like this so I'll um take a few pictures of it once it's done and see if I can load that onto YouTube also um, and again like I've said before she she has more of them over her body and I just keep an eye on them and they always end up bursting in my experience in my experience and so I just um, I just clean them out and we keep them up, keep an eye on them and everything I haven't really had any um, bad stuff happen from them so there you have it <laughs>